Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 907. This is The Book of Clarence. The Book of Clarence is a 2024 film that is directed by Jamie Samuel, aka The Boritz. Jamie Samuel, aka The Boritz, B U L L I T T S, who also directed it, The Holiday Fall directed this movie, The Book of Clarence. And I believe, and I believe that with Keith Stanfield, who is the main actor in this movie, I, I thought he might have been also in The Holiday Fall. But yeah, uh, so this is a 2024 movie from TriStar Pictures and Legendary Pictures. Surprisingly, the Sony Pictures photo did not appear at the beginning or ending of the film, nor did it have a Sony Pictures or Sony Company at the byline of the TriStar Pictures logo. Hmm. But anyway, I saw this movie on January 27th, 2024 at Kenwood Video in Kenwood, Ohio. So, this movie is about Clarence, who is a down on this world man who struggles to find a better wife for his family while trying, while trying and fighting to free himself of debt. Capitated by the power and glory of the rising messiah, he risked everything to crawl off his own path to the divine wife, ultimately discovering that the redemptive power of belief may be his only way out. So this movie takes place in 33 AD Jerusalem, and we see Clarence living in Jerusalem, who works to capitalize on the rise of Jesus Christ by claiming to be a new messiah sent by God. This is so in an attempt to free himself of death and start a life of glory for himself. But then things spin spin out of control when when a, when a king or a ruthless reader of Rome wants Creonus to give up the Messiah and bring it to him. But Cranwitz refuses. And something bad happens. Uh-oh. I thought it was a pretty good movie, so with Keith Stanfield portrays Cranwitz in the film, he also portrays Thomas in the film. And Cranwitz has a... I, be, I think Thomas was the twin brother of Cranwitz, because Cranwitz does have a brother. Almost I portrays Barabas in the film. Anna Dior portrays Fenrelia, who is right like Clarence's love interest. But also is Jadi Jadida's sister. Jadida is J E D E D I A H, who happens to be happens to be the person that Clarence is needing money to. Let's just say that Clarence is only is need is having the debt to Jaidaya for something that happened. And Clarence is trying to pay Jaidaya back. Eric Kofi Abrilia Abrilifa K O F I A B R E F A portrays Jaidaya the terrible. We also see Audrey Syro as Elijah, who is just Clarence's best friend and ally. David Aurelio as John the Baptist, who doesn't understand why Clarence doesn't believe in God. Clarence, at the beginning of the movie, doesn't exactly believe in God and how he can do things that other people can't. But throughout the movie, even when Clarence was trying to be a messiah, he still doesn't believe or truly believe that God exists. Or let's just say that he might have a change of heart and also might actually believe in God in the way or half of the movie. And we also see Michael Ward as Judas Iscariot, Alfred Woodard as the Virgin Mary, Brian Boferi as Joseph, as you remember if you remember in the Bible, Mary and Joseph are the parents of Jesus Christ. Terraria Taylor as Mary Magdalene. 
Caleb Medrawi as Dirty Seek, Marilyn Jean Batiste as Amelia, who is Clarence's mother, James McAvoy portrays Pontius Pilate, who is the who was the ruler of Rome and wants Clarence to give up the Messiah to him. And this is where Clarence refuses. We also see actors like Benedict Cumberbatch as Benjamin, Chase Dillon as Cabbage, Nicholas Pinot as Jesus, Babs Olsulamotin, who is spelled A-O-L-U-S-A-N-M-O-K-U-N as Aisha the Torturer, Peridad al Juriful as Goliath, Tom Green Corney as Dominicus, Demetrius, and Tom Fallen Waller as Antonius. So we see a lot of actors and actresses in this movie, and the main message behind the movie is trying not to exploit the Messiah for his own personal gain, as Clarence realizes that what he was doing was for his own personal gain and glory, and he realizes that there was a better way to have that without trying to trick people. But then the real Messiah comes, and let's just say things get a little interesting. But yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie, and I definitely recommend it. It's pretty good. So that's my movie review of the Book of Prayer and Pretty Truth Movie Review. Alright, goodbye.